Okay, here is part 3.5 of wiring up and powering up your Luminator side destination sign. So I went through my pile of wires over here that have multiple of these uh, mate and lock connectors and I found my main power source for this wiring harness and I went ahead and attached my wires appropriately and I've found a suitable mating and locking connector. So as soon as I plug those in this fluorescent light tube should come on and all of these LEDs on the power and other boards shall light up. So without further ado we plug that in. There's all the LEDs that come on and there's the working fluorescent light on the destination side. As you can see some of the flip dots here are not correct. Everything is supposed to be lit up appropriately. Now at this point you can either make do with a nice shiny night light that doesn't display anything or you can go ahead and try the next step to seeing if you have a working board. Over in the uh, handy Luminator manual, it, allow, it shows you a it shows you a um, grouping of the flip of the dip switches. The dip switch can be found on the flip dot controller board right there. This is your series of dip switches. There are eight of them. Over here, if you want to change your dip switch settings, this shows you which ones to change. All side destination signs have switches 7 and 8 turned on. All of the signs have programmed on them their own destination sign test. So that would be this last setting right here. That says dip switch 1, 5, 6, 7, and 8 all need to be flipped to the on position in order to get this to work. So what we're going to do is come back over to this and we're going to flip well first we're going to unplug this so that way we don't cause any sort of errors or problems. So now that it is powered down we're going to go ahead and flip switches 1 5 and 6. Since this was a side destination sign, 7 and 8 were already flipped. Now, this allows for an onboard diagnostic test which will display different random patterns. You do not need an ODK to do this, and so this will show you right from the beginning if your sign is good or if it's not. So as we plug this back in, you will see a completely new setting. All right, as you see, it works properly. So now we can continue with our project to make a working destination sign. Stay tuned for part four.